Oh, I'm, I'm happy because we own the situation. You know, we put ourselves in from last week to this week, and we talked about having a response, and, and we did tonight. You know, the, especially the first 40, sort of wetter the better, really, wasn't it? <laughs> when it dried up, it was made it tough on ourselves. Uh, just really proud that, just to show what we're all about. How impressed were you with the forwards in particular, the direct play, and also the handling and those sorts of things? Yeah, oh, look. Everything we'd planned the week before, <laughs> we did this week. Uh, just a really great mindset, wasn't it, Adi? Yeah. Um, Adi led it really well. We, we all bought in. We, we, we owned the position we're in, and we just wanted to make on honour what Eden Park's all about. Everyone that's had their great moments before, um, their great performances, and add to it in any way we, we could. Outside of the win, Scott, is, yeah. is that the performance that you've been searching for this year, that you've yeah. sort of known that the group is capable of, but haven't quite been able to get in past tests? Yeah, well, look, we've, we've created a lot of opportunities in all the tests, um, but we haven't taken them. That's the part, you know, we show those first, and look, this is where we're at. We give this, we give that, we, we score and can put pressure on other teams. And even like last week, you know, 20 to 8, we gave them a lot of points and we just, we, we just got to make sure that it's there. Uh, what we're doing, you know, like it's, and, and look, we, we've got improvements to make. We know that, like every team does, and we're going to um, innovate and grow and, and be better, but just nail those things, and we, and we did tonight. How do you felt like you played with a little bit of points for interest on how you feel about your performance? Yeah, um, I'm tired at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, put a lot of my energy on there tonight, but um, yeah. Just guess, you know, when the team's against the wall, you know, that it brings the best out of um, people. Um, good challenge is not relying on a loss to get a response and, and bringing that edge and that getting that edge every week as an All Black. Coach, um, it felt like a lot of the off the ball work on attack was a lot sharper. People kind of knew their roles a little bit better. Would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, we created more opportunities and executed it. We, we, um, our time was a little bit better. Uh, we created a bit more uh, playing through the front door. You know, we banged that down quite nicely, which got opportunities out the back. Coach, was it disappointing not to sort of put the foot on the throat yeah. in the second half? And what do you put yeah. that down to? We wanted to sort of bury them in the garden. We wanted to make sure that we'd finish them off. And sometimes that happens, isn't it? You know, we, the great thing about that, we. You know, got the Bowden to 10 and Rico to left wing and got Anton on and, we, you know, we played all the, the whole squad. We just lost a little bit of rhythm doing it and when we got down there into the 22, we just didn't finish a couple off, which would have probably made it a bit sweeter, but uh, the efforts were there and it created those opportunities and that's what we're about. Guys, at this level, obviously, it's a massive mental game as well as physical. Yeah. How important was it, the fact, that you were actually able to have some scrums this week in the first 60 minutes? I think if you ask the front row, they're very <laughs> happy. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, like, uh, you know, we got a lot out of our scrums today and mm. it got us out of um, trouble a few times. Um, so, yeah, very happy that we were able to get some scrums. Uh, the, um, somebody said to me that you demanded physicality from the team. <coughs> How do you do that? Is it, is it words? Is it actions? Is it a combination of both? It's a combination of both, I think. And yeah. it starts with myself as a leader and it starts with our leaders. Um, we need to step forward and lead and let the boys follow us. Scott, Scott what did you make of the performance of Damien and in those combinations we saw with the Barrett brothers in that first half? Yeah, Damien was good, especially in the wet, uh, how he found Land with this kicking, you know, we're a lot better off getting outside our 22 and executing uh, everything we we focused on this week in that regard. But DMAC was was sharp. I was really proud. That was his, it was his best game. Yeah. Reza, can you tell us about your three walks? Because they're young, they're, they're not that experienced. Yeah. Are they surpassing expectation at the moment for you? Yeah, it's good. Um, well framed question. Yeah. I think Sam Derry stepped right up, isn't he? He, uh, I think Tupu Vai is, is line out calling. The last two, you know, two tests have been remarkable. Uh, the amount of work he puts into it, he's he, he's smart. 
Um, Bex's call, cool. uh, we're really pleased for him and, and just great to hear Josh Lord come back and his body's fine, you know, it's been long for him. They're big men and big men take a little bit longer than others, um, so it's good to get them a bit of, bit of time and it's, it's good to have Scooter come back next week as well, uh, just give some depth in that area. Hardy, does it feel like you, as a group, collectively, you've taken a big step down the um, down the path with this performance tonight and it can be kind of a line in the sand. Yeah, um, I think we nailed what we uh, wanted to, to nail this week and yeah, it was when we're physical and we're direct and we're urgent, um, I think we look our best. So um, yeah, very proud of the guys for coming out tonight. How important was it, I guess, given what lies ahead the next two or three weeks? Yeah, very important. Um, we know how, how tough it is to, to go to South Africa. Um, but you know we wanted to focus on this uh, this week tonight, and we've done a job. We've got a few days at home to recover, refresh, but put some um, money in the bank, and then come come together and go to Africa. You said yesterday you wanted to play and have the guys back their ability and play with a bit of freedom. You think that, despite the pressure yep. after losing last week, you think that happened tonight? Yeah, I think um, Damien and Baz put us in the right areas of the field and allowed us forwards to, to get around the corner and get physical. Um, and I probably didn't do that last week. We struggled to get out of our half and mm. for us to get into those positions and allow us forwards to get into our game, it really helped us. Scott, so. nice to have that <coughs> gas from Will Jordan in your starting group. I mean, yeah. he's got special pace, doesn't he? Yeah, he has anticipates things well, great in the air and uh, yeah, it, it just his communication. Um, he's been great all week and we knew it was going to be a wet garden, so you know to have you know that's why we went with with him and and Bowden so we can cover our backfield well and and worked well with the combination of all the three of them with Dean Mac as well. Were you relieved seeing the weather this morning? Do you think that you can use that <laughs> to your advantage? Look, I was saying the boys weather the better, but no, look, it was um, oh, what it is. You just turn up. It was dry. If it was wet. It was windy. We were playing, prepared for it. PJ show. He still has it. DJ still has it? Or what happened? Yeah. What do you mean? Do you <laughs> he's still got the goods to deliver. Played all right, didn't he? Yeah. Scott, um, some of the players talked about uh, simplifying the game plan and you seem to have a lot of pay from going direct and yeah. the kicking game. Uh, how important was that and what was sort of like to still things down? And yeah, I think it was really important the way um, we got a bit of... Yeah, like I said, 28 last week, you know, we did some really good stuff and, and then the game got away on us and and tonight they didn't, you know, we controlled those moments and, you know, the defence was exceptional, some great efforts off the ball and some kick chase, some charge down, some hard balls on the ground, that's, that's what we're all about, so we'll celebrate those when we get back together and head over to Africa. So you come here and one of Crusaders coach, what's it like winning here as a coach in the home team? Uh, oof, uh, no, I'm just I'm, I'm just proud of of what Ian Park's given us. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a special thing. A lot of players have and teams have walked before us on this stadium and set us up to have a wee moment, and that, that's ours. Yeah, um, boys are talking about this 50 in a row. I didn't realise till after the game. So, really pleased we could add to that. Hardy, as players, how much do you relish the challenge of South Africa and South Africa? Yeah, that's why you play footy. Um, at Jerry um, yeah, get on tour. pressure moments. Um, everyone watching, the intensity, the pressure, that mm. brings the best out of us players. But I think we're going to be in the now, enjoy enjoy each other's company tonight. A few boys getting capped, families yeah. waiting at the hotel. So mm. go give wifey a hug, cuddle, and then uh, go back to our kids tomorrow. Um, Scott, you had a comment on a, there was a media report yesterday that um, sort of on the mm. face of it suggested there'd be a breach of protocol when the team was in San Diego. Um, Daniel McKenzie missing the trip to the airport. Are you able to clarify what happened over there? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to actually. So he missed he missed the bus because he missed the transport to the bus, and that was it. And he uh, apologised to the group for. Missy, it was just a, it was a misunderstanding. It was simple as that. So, I can't say any more. The backseat did a great job. You know, I, I step in if there's a curfew broken, and there's no curfew. It was just a bus.